the beautiful island of Kauai. We were lucky enough to spend Daniel's 40th birthday exploring the dense Hawaiian rainforest, climbing emerald green mountains, flying over diverse landscapes, adventuring through the famous Nepali coast by land, air, and sea, and lounging on world-class beaches. Not a bad way to turn 40, eh? Today we're going to share with you our top five favorite things we did while on the island to make planning your trip to Kauai a little bit easier. This video is sponsored by Get Your Guide. Get Your Guide is an amazing place to find incredible activities and experiences wherever you're traveling in the world. They offer over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. Get Your Guide has helped us see some amazing places while traveling the globe, like visiting Pena Palace in Sintra, Portugal, climbing to the top of the Milan Cathedral in Italy, and viewing downtown Singapore from the Marina Bay Sands observation deck. Here in Kauai, we use Get Your Guide to book the most epic helicopter tour ever with the local company Safari Helicopters. If you want to book our same tour or simply check out Get Your Guide, just click on our link in the description or scan this nifty on-screen QR code. A helicopter is by far the best way to fully see and take in the beauty of Kauai. We stood near the helicopter pads at the Mahui Airport for a few minutes, watching helicopters land and take back off, and then it was our turn to board. After strapping in, our awesome pilot Micah pulled away quickly from the landing pad, and immediately the views were amazing. As we flew over Green Hills on our way towards Waimea Canyon, we had our first major sighting, the famous waterfall from the first Jurassic Park movie. There was no shortage of beautiful valleys, tall mountains, and gushing waterfalls to see out the massive windows. Next up, we flew through Waimea Canyon, also known as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. The landscape is a visual kaleidoscope of colors from the rich reds of the canyon walls to the lush greenery on the valley floors. One thing that made our tour so amazing was getting to land on a remote peak overlooking yet another gorgeous valley. Taking a quick little pit stop up on top of this mountain ridge. <laughs> Our tour actually lands up on top of this ridge line, and I love it because I think the best part, most fun part about the helicopter, not only the views, but being able to take off because it just do it. feels fun. We get to do it two times. We hung out for a bit, taking in the views, chatting with our pilot, and then back into the helicopter. Next, we flew out over the Nepali coast. When we caught our first glimpses of the coastline, we immediately understood people's draw to the Nepali coast. Not only is its beauty unparalleled with the towering sea cliffs and sharp green ridge lines, but the place is so inaccessible. If you want to see the Nepali coast, you have to either take a boat, a helicopter, or hike in on your own two feet. We were so grateful for the clear skies and all the amazing views as we navigated through the deep valleys and buzzed mountaintops on our way back to the airport. Be sure to check out the link in the description and use Get Your Guide to book your own travel experiences. Oh, right, take this off and leave it in the door. <laughs> you guys had a good time? Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. Back on the ground. That was incredibly epic. Highly recommended. up the famous Waimea Canyon Drive. There's a nice scenic road that winds up the mountainside with tons of lookout spots. We pulled over quite a few times as we made our way along the road. The official Waimea Scenic Overlook is definitely a great viewpoint to see the canyon and Waipo'o Falls, but we also found that pulling over pretty much anywhere and walking a minute or so would offer just as good of a view. 
further up near the end of the road, we also did a short hike that probably ended up being one of our very favorite things we did while in Kauai. The trail followed a ridgeline that overlooked the Kalalau Valley on the Nepali coast. Our minds were blown by the amazing views of the valley. We had a little bit of weather that day and the clouds were moving quickly above the valley up the mountainside, but it all made for a nice moody atmosphere. While not the most difficult trail, it was definitely narrow with sheer cliffs off to one side and is not for the faint of heart. After enjoying the scenery and snapping a ton of photos, the weather started to get a little more iffy, the rain began to fall, and the clouds came in to cover the mountains, so we started to hike back out. There are a ton of hikes in the Waimea Canyon area, and you could definitely spend multiple days exploring. If anyone knows us, you know we love to get out on the water, especially in Hawaii. So, we found a boat tour through Kauai Sea Tours that would take us out to see the Nepali coast from the water. But that's not all. On this tour, they take small maneuverable zodiac boats and go in and out of sea caves across the coastline. We were stoked about this. Immediately after leaving the harbor, we spotted numerous pods of dolphins. We had to stop and watch them as they swam near our boat and gave us a little show. It's always a huge bonus when we get to see some wildlife on a boat tour. After arriving out to the Nepali coast, it was time to go through some caves. As we approached our first one, a ton of birds came flying out of it all at once. Some caves we entered slowly until we were covered in darkness, while others we cruised through at full throttle. Further up the coast, we eventually arrived at the same Kelalau Valley we had seen from above in previous days. It's truly one of the most amazing landscapes we've ever seen. On our way back to the harbor, we took a short break from the pounding waves for a little swim. Whenever possible, we recommend getting out on the water. Whether it's an adventurous sea caving experience or a leisurely sunset cruise, it's worth it. If you enjoy hiking, then definitely plan ahead and reserve a permit to hike the Kalalau Trail. This coastline trail is the only way to access the Nepali coast by foot. While it is possible to hike all the way into the Kalalau Valley, we opted for the shorter day hike option, which was a nine mile out and back trek along the coastline and then upriver to the Hanakapiai Falls. We got started early since we knew it was going to be a long day. The first stretch of the trail was so beautiful. We even had a couple roosters following along for quite a while. <laughs> As the trail wrapped around the cliffs, we started to catch glimpses of the beautiful Nepali coastline and had some great photo opportunities. About two miles in is where the stream from the Hanakapiai Falls reaches the beach. If you're warm from hiking, this is a great spot to take a dip in the fresh, cool waters of the stream.
From here, the trail goes upstream all the way up to the falls. It must have rained earlier that morning because the trail was pretty muddy. After about two miles, we were greeted by the massive 300-foot waterfall. At the base of the falls, there is a large pool that we obviously had to take a swim in, although our entrance may not have been the most graceful. But the cold water definitely felt great against sore knees and feet. As we were leaving, the sun peeked through between the cliffs right at the top of the waterfall. Talk about impeccable timing. So glad we caught it. lot of amazing and popular beaches on Kauai, but our lazy afternoon spent on Lumahai Beach was one of the best. There's no official parking lot or access to this beach. Simply park on the side of the road and walk through the trees out onto the massive sandy beach. There were very few crowds and we sat for a while watching talented surfers get towed one after the other into the waves. It was great entertainment. Another cool beach experience we had was down at Poipu Beach on the south side of the island. This spot is very popular and has some phenomenal snorkeling and in the evenings is a choice spot to see the sea turtles. We caught a dozen or so pulling themselves up onto the sand to relax for the evening. It was a pretty cool sight to see. You guys, be sure to like this video and give us any questions you have down in the comments. We would absolutely love to answer them. We had the most amazing time on this trip out to Kauai, and we honestly cannot wait for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>